Mm -hmm. So this is a good connection to the, the next area after pain points is the testimonials. So make your testimonials videos as much as possible. So one thing though about making video testimonials, when people are watching these videos, generally they have their sound off. So share with us some best practices to keep the focus on the product itself while you have a video testimonial. Yeah. So depending on how we're, how, you know, if we're asking our customers to do testimonials or if we're asking an influencer to upload a testimonial for us, we ask, you can ask an influencer to put the captions over their video, right? So that way someone can read it. Um, it's all, it's already in your video file. So when you upload it, it it's okay. Um, so that is one of the things that you can do. Um, again, just making it super visual, like I was saying with the watering can, like very slowly, like showing, you know, all the different benefits, highlighting the benefits. Um, mm. but you have to, you know, it's a mix of really engaging, um, for something that's kind of sometimes boring, you know, when you're talking about different product features or different, um, colors or whatever it could be. So you have to, you know, either work with an agency or a content creator that knows how to, you know, kind of keep the the pace of the video um, so that if someone sees it, it's still engaging enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could, you could have the, I'm just thinking now aloud based on what you said, you could have somebody talk about the product, but really you want to show the product and different features of it. And they could be in a, in a little circle in the corner talking, and then you could have the main area on in the video frame with the product indicating, you know, what it is that they are referring to with subtitles, of course. So that way people can see exactly what's going on with the sound off. Yeah. And, and then, um, oh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, um, for anyone who's doing it themselves, you need to have a really clear brief, right? Of what you're asking someone to create or, you know, about what you want them to highlight and what you want them to show. Because that's how you're going to know if you're going to get a good result back in a video where you're really happy or you get something back and you're not thrilled with it, right? So there's something called the brief that you write um, that needs to be crystal clear of what you want it to show, how you want it to look, the length of it. That the creator probably knows, you know, Amazon best practices, but they don't know your brand the way you do is what I always tell my clients. Mm 